Yeah. <laughs> 
messages in the sky. Yes. So Paul Joe said, I bid farewell yes. to this old world. Uh, yes. right. And while my weeping eye, yes. what he was saying, he was saying, tell heaven I'm on my way home. Yes. I've got the towel in my hand now. I can see the, I can see my way now. How many y'all can see your way now? I said, how many y'all can see your way now?
Vision for ministry is a reflection of what God wants to do through you for the kingdom. When God gives you vision, he gives you your assignment for the kingdom. Now what God began to show me last night was that when we don't have vision, we're not moving the assignments that God has for us. And see what I realized, Pastor Maloney, is a lot of us don't really have vision. We're simply operating off of someone else's words. And see, you, you, I can't pull through on nobody else's word. I gotta do what God has assigned and purposed me in the earth to do. See, what he called Reverend Shep, Reverend Shepherd, Pastor Dean to do, he didn't call me to do that. And so if I get, if I take on what he did, it won't work. And see, though, the problem is a lot of churches don't have vision. That's why the church is stale. The church is stagnant because the man of God doesn't have a vision. You've got to have a vision to pull the, to do this next kingdom assignment. Without the vision, the people will perish. So I begin to ask God. I said, God, make it clear for me. And when I said Mr. Cliff, I heard Danny last night said, I could hear Danny in my spirit, he said, it's just like God made the Israelites matter from on heaven daily. They can hold on to it. Because every day he gave them new food. They can pack it up. Somebody missing it. You should get a vision from God that's not going to be a stale vision. But a vision to embrace and enhance the kingdom. See, so the reason why the church can't move because there's a lot of men and women of God who don't have a vision. There are a lot of pastors who don't have vision. And that's why the church is dying. I ain't no hooper. I'm wide open. Now watch this, watch this. To move the vision, you got to have faith. Then right. the Lord says, faith is the will. Yeah. That's what the Bible says, that the judge shall live uh -huh. by faith. In order for me to do, to, to implement my vision, i got to walk in faith. Yeah. Right. Every now and then I'm in church, and I have what I call flashbacks. If you ever sit beside me in church, I'll just go to cry sometime. The choir might sing. The dancers might sing. It just got to look at the urchins, and the urchins are breathing. But I have a flashback. Why do you have a flashback? I remember when it was just six of us. My God. I remember when people were sitting me down. Because let me tell you why it's a sound real bad because me and him was singing and neither one of us could sing. <laughs> but we did what we had to do for the moment. Yes, and we believe God and we trust God in the midst of nothing. And we kept saying, God, if you say it, it is so. It is so. I remember God told me to open an account and we had no money in it. But I opened an account and every now and then he said, write a check out this account. I want to take money from my personal account and put it in the church account. All right. Yes. This was before there was a, a body of believers. All right. But he gave me a vision. Yes. He said, write the vision. I wrote it down. Make it plain. Yes. Yes. And the reason why I had to make it plain because every now and then somebody had an interest in what I was doing. And I just said, here it is. would get excited in them. The Lord told me to get my dad glasses. 
Because as a vision, if you don't have a vision, you can't see. If you don't have a vision, you can operate in the spirit. But this is what vision does. Vision makes what was crooked straight. Church over here, 
vision. So I'm asking myself, do you really have vision? Because if you can, if you have vision, there's some things that God showed you that you would start doing. You know what? I, I want to get be excited for you, really. I just believe in the body of Christ and the kingdom of God. We got to embrace what God is doing because if you got vision, there are business on in the city right here. But the church don't know how to embrace the business for of the kingdom. All you know how to do is just wave your hand and pray. But you know they have places and things in place for business owners to be successful in the kingdom of God. You do know God needs business owners in the kingdom. I'm going to share business on your real quick. I've been doing this in my church for about six weeks now. The kingdom of God is bigger than the church. I didn't know, Pastor. The Lord gave me this revelation, did it? You all have a house. Wait a minute, you got a house or apartment or trail or something. You're living somewhere. And in your house, you have a bedroom. Do I, can I get an amen? Your bedroom is just the church. But the kingdom is just your whole house.
It's technology all the way around. Everywhere I go, that camera goes. And she's uploading, I get two or three hundred views. Eight, three hundred folks in church. But my message go worldwide now. I got friends from Africa, they were all over the place with watches and wedding. When we don't go live on Sunday, our inbox is full of and saying, where are y'all today? You got to have fish. Yes, yes. Right. And I the devil. Amen. Come on, Some folks ain't getting here. Yes. And we got to know how to go out and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you really have fish? Do you have a vision? Because God wants to expand the kingdom yes. through us. We don't have yes.
listen to the words that find myself in the one Lord, yeah. one faith, yes. and because I got vision for the kingdom. Yes, and then all the small stuff don't really matter now. It used to matter. I don't care if you say a charge to keep my hand. Certainly, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. 